Spoilers and fandom is like a book club for geeky stuff. Join us as we delve into the depths of our backlogs and sift through the games, comics, shows, movies, and books that we haven't checked out yet. Hey everybody, welcome to a new episode of Spoilers and Fandom. I am Hell's Knight. I'm Hillary. And today, it's been a while, but we're talking about our comic that we've been reading over the past, past few months. Yeah. Yeah. Or a year. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's a big one. It's a big read. We're talking about The New Gods by Jack Kirby, the full run. Yeah. I was the one who selected this for the pod, for 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 review. Yes. Yeah. For me, the reason why I actually selected this is because of Jack Kirby being one of my comic book. I want to say, I'm a I'm a huge fan of his, because of how he created, essentially most of Marvel and DC. I'm a fan of his creative process, so I kind of wanted to see where he was. Or let's say, I wanted to see his early work, The New Gods, what he did when he came to DC right off of Marvel the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a very old book. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) It feels like quite dated uh, in terms of stuff, but it is quite interesting. Yeah. It was done, I think, in in the 70s. Uh, I, I can get the exact year probably, but yeah, in 1971. So it's quite, quite old. Older than both of us, for sure. Yep. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there, there, so how many issues was this in total? I think it was like... Because okay. you got the main run, Yeah. which has the, the bulk of the issues, and then you have like some side stories, right? Yeah, one or two side stories. But I think it was like four volumes. Because it was all together in just five, 400 and something pages. 425 pages, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, 425 pages. But this was the one that was collected in 2018. Yeah. Yeah, it was like a reissue or something. Yes. Uh, And I read this on Comixology, by the way. Mm -hmm. And I use that uh, cinematic, uh, what is it, guided view. Guided view, the cinematic It's so good. (laughs) It's so good. Uh, That's, yeah. It's it's really hard to go back to the normal way <laughs> after that, but yeah. Um, and actually, Comicsology has changed. That's another story. But Comicsology has changed since then. Yeah, they, you told me that they've changed yeah, the accessibility of some titles. I guess. Yeah, you can't buy stuff directly from the mobile apps. You uh-huh. have to go to the website now and buy them, and then you can download them on the app. Okay. So well, I don't know. That sucks, I guess. But yeah, maybe that, that does kind of suck. It feels, but you were saying it felt more like a, like an agreement, like a I licensing think it's, thing. Yeah, I think it's like a thing between Google and Amazon. Okay, so hopefully they'll sort that out, and then the guys will be able to just pick it up as easily mm, again. I don't know, uh, but yeah, like at least you can still buy it. Yeah, at least and you then can read it, it on the app. So. Yeah. Let's start with the pacing. Mm. Oh no, let's give you the synopsis, right? Yeah. yeah. So the story revolves around the new gods. Um, And this is sort of like before they were merged with DC, sort of. Yeah. Uh, Before the new gods came to the DC verse. So I guess it's like uh, Darkseid versus Orion before it became like Darkseid versus Superman. Because like it takes place, uh, they have like lots of lore and stuff like that. Yeah about uh, the way the universe was created mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, there's, there's like a lot of lore and like history. Like there were, there were, the gods were fighting and those were the old gods. They wiped each other out. They use the word holocaust way too much. I've never seen the word holocaust being used so much <laughs> in yeah. anything I've ever read. Uh-huh. Um, and yeah, it focuses on, like it's, it starts off with like Orion being called back to New Genesis. Uh, and being told that uh, bad things are about to happen. Yeah. And uh, it's up to him to go and deal with it because he is the the warrior new god, I guess. Yeah. The um, dog of war. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so there's no Superman 
Batman guys Justice like that. Justice League or anything like that. Uh, unless they're like new gods related or like dark sides people related. Yeah. Yeah. So so yeah, I found it like historically like reading this. Mm-hmm. It was like really I thought like it's like education not edu- <laughs> well kind of educational. Yeah. Uh, like you're you're reading this and it's like a part of like history or something. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it felt like for me. Because even the scale, even the way the, the the dialogue and the art is put across, mm-hmm. I want to say that the scale of it is meant to be like grand, kind of. Because he talk he's he's talking about the gods. Mm-hmm. He wanted this to be like a new pantheon. He wanted to talk about this as a as a whole new platform essentially like mm-hmm. the old gods are dead they, they, he makes a big deal about old gods dying and the new gods coming up and even in time these new gods will die and new gods will come up even from them so yeah. it's the, the way the, the way the whole story is put across is more of i, I kind of want to say almost historical almost like law yeah. you're being given like a saga or a history of this place yeah and then now it will snap you into the moment of Orion is doing this and Darkseid is up to this and the shenanigans of what these guys are up to from then on, I want to say. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I got that same vibe. Mm. I really did like the lore uh-huh. uh, that was there in the book, but I guess I'll go into that with the spoiler stuff. Okay. Uh, but that was probably my favorite part. Because that read more like a fantasy. Yeah, it epic. comes off. Yeah, it comes off as. A, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's more like epic fantasy. Yeah, even than, though it's even though it's in a comic book. Or is it sci-fi? What would you call this? It is. Yeah, you're it's right. Kind it's of, more of sci-fi. It's right? kind of sci-fi, but yeah. it's it's also like fantasy. Yeah. Um, if if I could maybe put a term high high sci-fi. High sci-fi. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can see that. It's like a mix of high fantasy and sci-fi. You mentioned the art. Yes. Let's, let's, let's go to that. <laughs> did you like the art? I did. Uh-huh. But it's also because I kind of like Jacob, Jack Kirby's art for a very specific reason. Wait, which is? It's very, I want to, okay, mobile, I want to say. There's a lot of motion in how he draws his characters. Even in the big spread pages, when he talks about like the holocausts and the wars that came up, in those splash pages, there's so much. If you look, okay, yeah, if you look at it and you focus down on like the characters and the lines and the art and the color, mm-hmm. it feels like it's a very action page. It's action packed. I want to say, when somebody's leaping or when Ryan is jumping to punch somebody, it's all very there. You feel it. I want to see. Okay. Yeah. What about like the costume designs and that kind of stuff? Okay, yeah. The costume design maybe is a bit like retro. It feels like he's... It's, it's very much his style though. Yeah, it's his style, but it also feels very... It's, yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't recognize this for... You wouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't confuse this for something new, for damn sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think on, on this thing, you and I are going <laughs> to... Disagree pretty hard. I uh, did not like the art style. Oh, you didn't like the art style. I didn't. No. Uh-huh. How come? Um, I did like like the sweeping kind of shots, uh-huh. like when you see New Genesis for the first time. Yeah. Or even but Apocalypse. Like, for the first time. I didn't like the style at all. Even like off Apocalypse, I found like even like the character design, like everyone looks like kind of rounder than they should be. Yeah, the 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 dimensions of the characters are kind of like thrown off. Yeah, and then yeah. Um, the colors really, uh, especially with the costume design, uh-huh. uh, I I find that they all look very goofy. Yeah, uh, which is which is fine for that time, I guess. Like yeah. again, if you're looking at it as a piece of history and stuff, it's fine. I just don't like it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you like the the way they showed motion. I yeah. I really did not. <laughs> I really didn't. Uh, I think with like a lot of the action scenes mm-hmm. uh, where fighting is going on, uh-huh. I felt like there was too much of a jump from one one thing to the other, uh-huh. and you had to kind of like put stuff together unless you were seeing actual contact. Yeah. Made. Um, so I found that that a little weird. 
And a little, yeah, I found that a little jarring, I guess. Okay. To Good. imagine uh, the the transition between like motion, I I, I didn't like it. Okay. Because um, for me, the parts that actually, again, that were jarring for me, the way you said, yeah. were when they shift from the the epic scale of things. Mm-hmm of New Genesis, Apocalypse, Orion, these leaders and fighters that you see. Mm-hmm. And then they'll all of a sudden come down to so-and-so, mild-mannered so-and-nobody from here who's now friends with Orion for some reason. <laughs> yeah. That's now, that what, that's what annoyed me. Yeah, Because I wish they just kept the story at that scale. I wish he kept the story up there where it's all big stuff. And then maybe once in a while, rather than having like an entire issue where people are now discussing, oh my gosh, we'll be one invasion and stuff like that. I swear you had two characters who were the same. You Which had was? Light Ray and yeah. that other fast kid. Fastback. Fast ah, yeah, Fastback. Fast <laughs> I swear they're the same. <laughs> yeah, but Light Ray is more of like Orion's best buddy, friend, yeah. buddy kind of guy. Yeah, and yeah. I think Fastback was something like they were trying to sell. Yeah. Uh, maybe as like a separate, as a separate sort of thing. Yeah. Maybe he want. Maybe maybe they wanted to spin him off into his own issue. I don't oh yes, yes. Actually, they they were trying to do that because it was like fast back and the blah blah blah. Oh, okay. There was a poster in there or something like a promo in there for that. Yeah. So he kept getting shoved in there for like no reason, <laughs> other than to promote the characters. I think. Yeah. Um, so for like c- certain bits like those, mm-hmm. those are the things that the pacing of it, that's what screwed me over. Yeah. yeah. For me, it was the writing uh-huh. uh, as well that I really found annoying uh-huh. because like, uh, okay, at the start of the book, you're introduced to the human counterparts to every superhero story. Yeah. <laughs> and every issue... They find creative ways to introduce themselves to each other over and over again. Yeah. Uh, I can't even remember some of their names. I'm... Oh, d- like they're talking to each other in a conversation. And it shows up. Like, the, uh, the like you know, is... what was the accountant's name? I forgot the accountant. But like, the guy... they, they don't matter. But like, it's like, I'm Gerald, the account... Like, so no, Gerald, the accountant? <laughs> you know, like, who talks like that? Like... The one like, that I remember was, I'm Claudia Shane, yeah. simple but worried secretary. Yes. I'm like, yeah, uh, you don't was, need this. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, exactly. They, they basically introduce themselves along with their personality types. It's just so, <laughs> so weird. Goofy. Yeah. And in every episode, they try and find new ways to, to literally have that same stuff. Yeah. And again, this is prior to what, what I think, I can't remember who did it. I think it was Stan Lee, uh-huh. but you remember, like in the in the more modern Marvel comics, they have that thing at the front. They have like before you start reading it, who the characters are. Yeah, the introduction like, basically on the left. Yeah, yeah, like their character names and stuff. So it's not introduced to you within the story. Within the story, over yeah. And over again. Okay, then if if Stan Lee did that, then props to him. I think he did it. I don't yeah. know for sure, but that was a thing that that I appreciate. So this is. Yeah. Before that, yeah, this would yeah, this would benefit a lot from stuff like that. Yeah, but um, it does come in the okay. The problem is, this is also a collected edition that came in twenty eighteen. Yeah, so it is collected at the end. <laughs> All those like the 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 descriptions of most of those characters in the groups. Yeah, does come, but it's at the end after you've already met everybody and you kind of know everything is everything has happened. So but at the back of it, it's there mostly for information i guess yeah but it was i didn't like the way they did it i am so and so a private eye yeah i take no grief from blah 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 (laughs) in the middle of a conversation (laughs) like imagine every time you go to a party i'm like hi everyone who says hi to you hi i'm i'm hillary i i i do this and that mild mannered reporter (laughs) my my, and i enjoy long walks on the beach (laughs) or like you know if that gets old Hey, this is my friend Hillary. He enjoys long walks on the beach. Yeah. Mild mannered. <laughs> like, It'll be wow. the same two things, just back yeah. and forth. Yes. Yeah. I, I found that super annoying. Mm-hmm. As well as, like, I guess the pacing with, especially Orion. Yeah. Uh, and the way he's written, I think, 
I think writing is maybe not Kirby's Kirby strongest strong suit, yeah. point. Yeah. Because, uh, like, I think he was trying to be, like, a tragic tragic hero. He was trying to make Oran, like, a tragic hero. Mm. But he, like, something about the way he's written, it's It doesn't really jarring. come across, yeah. It does not, yeah, at all. Nothing. Yeah. Like, it's it comes off as a whiny, complaining, spoiled bratty weirdo. Kind of dude, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I didn't, I didn't get that vibe at all, mm. but I think that's what he was going for. Yeah. Um, so I had a lot of problems with writing. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. The writing, I'll, I'll also agree, is it's not strong. The writing isn't strong. I feel like for him, the world building took precedence over the writing. Yes, the world building was quite nice. Yeah. Because he was able to set up like, he was able to set up the worlds, yeah. and a bunch of the characters. And At least that would the the major ones were able to the the major ones were set up well and everything was made sense I went I think yeah it yeah. was it felt original as well yeah but the details now when it comes to individual characters now communicating it now fell apart a bit there yeah yeah because you could feel that there wasn't so much glue in between like I I could I could read his the splash pages and the explanations for stuff the descriptions i could read those for days but when it comes to like dialogue that was hard to read yeah yeah i'm trying to think was there any good dialogue in the entire book it it felt very uh, outdated outdated yeah. yeah it's very early comic book days yeah but yeah. even um you know we watch those old superman cartoons where it's like Oh, look up in the sky. It's you a know, bird, like, it's a plane, yeah. Like, it's, it, it feels even more outdated than that. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Even the artwork on some level feels... Because even the way he draws some of the guys from Apocalypse, mm -hmm. the, the, the Apocalypse art style is very big, broad chests, deep, big arms, big everything. And mangled faces. And mangled faces. Um, and usually and, extra parts. And kind of cyborg. Yeah, kind of cyborg, extra body parts, or extra, like, uh, not appendages, but, like, things. There's decorations on people. On, like, helmets and outfits and stuff like that. Yeah. The way the outfits are designed for the characters is also kind of old school. Yeah. Yeah. I want to say it's early, early days of comic book yeah. design. Even the weapon stuff. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll talk about that in the, the like the technology. Yeah. In this uh, was kind of all over the place. Yeah. Um, but I'll talk more about that in the spoiler section. Okay. Because yeah, I, I didn't get. For me, Orion, like, the this whole thing, uh -huh. Orion felt like the hero I I don't want or uh -huh. I don't care about. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't like uh, Ryan, mm -hmm. <laughs> at least in this, at all. Because he's, he's a very strange guy, I want to put it that way. I mean, I think, like, the cartoons and stuff like that uh -huh. did him a little better, but, like, he's not very likable in those in either. The, yeah. So I guess he's just not a likable guy. But, in, like, to have, like, an entire run focused on that one guy... Yeah, when there's and also you don't like him very much, and there's also admittedly not much with him. Yeah, that's going on. He's a pretty one-dimensional guy. Yeah, yeah. He's a, like a point-and-shoot thing. You just point him in the direction of the problem and set him loose until it's solved. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, I like okay. Well, well, let's talk about what characters did you like? Admittedly, not Orion. Yeah. Because I I came into this more for. I think the law of the story. Yeah. So I wanted I was I was coming into this to see the the, the origins of guys like Darkseid, Highfather, yes. and Metron. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to see what what was what was like Jack Kirby's um, plan. Where was he coming from when he was coming around with, when he was coming up with these ideas of of apocalypse of New Genesis and their interactions with Earth. How what what how how was he going to link them with here? That was my question. I just wanted to see that. Okay. Yeah. So I was more interested in like the broader, the broader strokes, 
characters. Mm-hmm. But even from those guys, like Darkseid, I'll say, is easily one of my favorite characters from this thing. Mm-hmm. But if I'm being honest in this very like collection, I mm-hmm. think Forage is my most inter- my favorite character. Forager, okay. Yeah. Just because I never expected to see him, and I liked his story when I got it. I had no idea. So again, like DC lore has kind of confused me. Mm-hmm. I was under the impression, right? Yeah. That Dark Side was like again. I think the animation uh-huh. kind of ingrained this into me. Like you have, um, oh, actually, this is spoiler stuff. We'll yeah. save it for that. Okay. Uh, it's like the specifics of Dark Side and Orion. Okay. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about it in the spoiler section. Okay. My favorite character, though, uh-huh. in, in this run, uh-huh. I think is Light Ray. <laughs> Light Ray is mad fun. He's, he's a fun guy. I like him, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but again, with him, like I think he's supposed to have this banter with Fine. Orion. Yeah. <laughs> but it comes off like really hateful Still or something like yeah. it's it's it doesn't work uh very well but i did like right like light ray light he gets along with all the humans yeah properly and and like <laughs> Ryan does not um, <laughs> but yeah like yeah light ray light ray just seemed like a cool hero yeah. someone who works with light can move that fast and can like manipulate essentially light molecules yeah i think that's a really cool power and I mean, he doesn't really go further than that. Yeah, he's a pretty simple. He's guy. the most science fiction character in this book as well. Yeah, <laughs> to a, exactly a yeah, large yeah, degree, right? right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and like you also in this book, I think the, the best part was the lore. Yeah, more so for me was the history of how this war came about. You know, like you get the All Father yeah. versus Apocalypse stuff. Yeah, and like a flashback bunch of books. Yeah, I love that. Even when you see things like the source, because the way this the, when when they describe the source in DC law, post this, mm-hmm. it's described as this wall. is yeah it's, it's the source wall it's the it's where all the energy in the universe essentially kind of comes from. Mm-hmm. Then seeing it here, the okay one of the images that you see is a guy who's a guy a Titanic dude, he's literally. Uh, what was it? Eight tenths of the page, and you see Metron, a tiny guy at the bottom there. I like now the sense of scale like that. That's what I was coming in for, I think. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was that, yeah yeah that was interesting. Okay, I guess in subject matter, mm. um, there's also like a very jarring dated <laughs> <laughs> bunch of stuff here. Uh-huh. Uh, I wouldn't say outward, like we talk about sexism and stuff. It's it's like hot topics, I guess, <laughs> for like a past I don't know ten years, yeah. uh, but past maybe ten years, five years, ten, yeah, ten, ten years, yeah, yeah, ten twenty. Why was Clara there? She represents. She's a human. She's just one of the humans. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So all the women in this book, yeah, were very uh, <laughs> badly <laughs> written, I guess. Yeah. And it's 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 good that this is there, this exists, so that you can see it, I guess. Yeah. But man, <laughs> we've come a long we've way. We've come a very. I, I, I would think that we've come <laughs> a long way from from there. So so I think that's good. Uh, there is some stuff about race as well, mm. like there are references to the ghetto and stuff like that. I don't think it's done in in necessarily bad in taste. The bad I'm not, taste, I'm not yeah. saying like Jack Kirby was racist or anything. Yeah. Uh, he did include them, but along with that, um, he was trying, like, I guess it's a product of its time yeah. kind of thing. Uh, I wouldn't really call that racist as such, but yeah, it is It is a little uh, telling of, of the time. Yeah. Because uh, there's stuff. only, the, the way they describe certain things, or even the way they approach certain situations, yeah. is very much of that time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I I can get more specific in the spoiler section, but mm. I won't I won't say it here, like what they show and stuff. But yeah, it's it it is odd, I guess if you're not used to that or if you're not prepared for that. Yeah. Uh, but it is it, it again part of our history. It's interesting. I I found that very educational. 
yeah. if anything. I, um, I hadn't actually noticed that stuff, imagine. Really? Yeah. Like, in my head, I think I'd seen it, but um, I, I think I just accepted that it's it's old. It's, it's, it is what it is. Okay, I'm, I'm a bit of a simp, I guess. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> uh, I really look for, like, certain stereotypes in comics, because they all have them. Yeah. Like, the sexy, uh, crazy female character. Uh-huh. Uh, crazy as in, like, powerful. Or the sexy, badass female character. I always look for that. Yeah. There's no one here. Yeah. No, yeah, there's none. There's <laughs> and no every that. time I, I think that there's going to be even like the the bad guys in Apocalypse, they're not written very well. The mm-hmm. Furies, yeah, uh, or at least in this, they're, they're, yeah. yeah, they're written, I guess, very stereotypically for that time. Yeah. So I, I didn't get that. I get that from everything, really. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I do look for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm someone who looks for for that kind of stuff. The race stuff I'm talking about is is really like um, ah I'll talk about it in the sports section. Yeah, yeah, let me not mention that. Now. Oh, yeah. Just I'm generally now, would characters. you would you like would you consider this? Would you like it out of a scale of one to ten? Okay, so my rating yeah. is I think a six out of ten. Uh-huh. But, uh huh. But for me, that's purely because of the parts that I enjoyed the most. I think the history is really. Like from a lore and history perspective, I thought it, it's super valuable. Yeah, and I appreciate that. If you're not someone who likes that stuff, yeah, I would say totally. you can skip this. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I I liked it for what it was. Uh-huh. I knew it would be dated going in, and it was. There there were some parts that really shocked me <laughs> <laughs> while reading this. Um, but yeah, that's that's. Uh, I'd give it a six. What about you? Uh, for me, I'd put it as a, yeah, also about a six or seven. Let me say a seven. Okay. Yeah. I also didn't like the way it ended. Yeah, that's that's now something I wanted to bring up. Yeah. Jack Kirby generally doesn't do endings well. It just, things just end. It's not tied up or anything. It just kind of tapers off into its own thing. Yeah, I, I, I didn't like... The endings, I'll say, mm-hmm. because it's a little weird, but um, it's fine. We'll, we'll I'll talk about it with even spoiler. Would you recommend it to someone? Not unless, yeah. Again, I'd only recommend it to you if you're interested in DC stuff. In no, not even DC stuff. Like just the history of where we came from in terms of comics and and stuff. And you, if you're interested in seeing how things evolved, especially like. You look at the way the new gods are today. Yeah. With all these characters like Orion, Darkseid, and everything. Mm-hmm. And where they originally came, came from. from yeah. Like what was done to them to make them more relevant. How they became. Like what what aspects of the character have, have been, remained. Have remained or have grown or have really been fleshed out. Uh-huh. To make them uh, more, inter- okay. more, more enjoyable, relevant. Yeah. entertaining, relevant, mm-hmm. and all that. Mm-hmm. I think that's like, especially with like dark side and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I think that's really, really uh, cool to see. So if you have no interest in that, I, I would not. Yeah, you should, yeah, you should actually, yeah, you're right. Mm. Mm. You? Yeah, even for me, I would only like, in reality, I'd only recommend this to real DC fans. If you're actually like into DC stuff and you want to know where these guys came from as a history lesson, yes. But. I feel like the better comics to introduce guys like Darkseid, the better comics. If I wanted to introduce somebody to like Orion, I feel like there's a better place to introduce them to those things. It's just that this this was Kirby's vision, and this is how they started out. All right, so we're checking out Fables from uh, Vertigo next yeah. in terms of comics mm-hmm. uh, up to the 2015 thing. Yeah. Uh, Hillary's just mentioned that there will be a revival or something <laughs> coming out soon, so we're not we're not including that. Uh, so just know, yeah, up to twenty fifteen, where the main line story kind of ends. ends. Okay. Yeah. So join us for that. The other things that we're checking out are Arcane, uh, the first season of that. We're checking out Swords of Ditto, the movie The Swordsman, and Fables. 
uh, Fables, I, I said that, um, and Reaper's Gale. Yeah, Reaper's Gale, sorry. Forgot in the book. <laughs> Was there something I forgot? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, That's yeah. yeah. So thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. Have fun. Have fun. Do you have an opinion on what we just discussed? Did we miss something? Tell us in the comments section and we'll read it in the next episode. If you're listening on Anchor, send us a voice message and we'll add it to this episode. Don't forget to follow our podcast on Twitter, at SpoilFans, for updates. And follow our Instagram for behind-the-scenes action, at Spoilers and Fandom. Also, subscribe to us on YouTube and Anchor to get the latest episodes.